this hair pretty much smelled like Hey dolls, Amber Lee's here. Welcome back to my channel where you can find all things hair, makeup, and product review related. So in today's video, I'm pretty much just gonna be doing a two week update on this hair that I got from Yolissa Hair Company. So if you wanna see that, then definitely stick around. But before we get into the video, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. And also make sure you go ahead and hit the notification bell so that you'll know every time I post new content. And without further ado, let's hop right into the details. All right, so as stated in the beginning, I did order some hair from Yolissa Hair Company. And this is the Malaysian Loose Deep Wave. And I I did get a 20 inch closure a 24 inch bundle a 26 inch bundle and two 28 inch bundles and if you haven't seen the initial unboxing of that video i'll go ahead and link it somewhere up here and it'll also be down in the description box below just in case you want to sh um, check out the initial un unboxing of the hair but today like i said two week update and i'm going to go ahead and first start talking about shipping because i did forget to mention that in my first video so on june 22nd that was when i actually placed my order and then my hair shipped out on June 23rd and June 28th is when I actually received the hair. And I did want to go ahead and mention that when you order from your list of hair company, they do suggest that you go ahead and place your order through PayPal. So they do suggest that you do it that way. I did not do mine that way and I didn't really see that huge of a delay. And also one thing that I do like about Yolissa's um, customer service is that before they even send off your package, they are going to email you the same day that you place your order and they are gonna ask you to confirm your shipping address that way they can go ahead once you confirm it they'll go ahead and ship out your order so if you don't do this they are going to go ahead and ship your hair out anyways so i think they give you like a day to actually confirm your um, shipping address and then if you don't do it they're going to go ahead and send it out to whatever um shipping address you put on file but i do like that because sometimes you know you can make mistakes so they go ahead and give you that extra um, security to go ahead and confirm everything before they send your hair off just to make sure that your act your hair actually gets to you. And so my mom actually did place an order um, a couple of days ago and she actually did hers through PayPal and her hair did get here a lot quicker than mine's. She got her hair maybe within three to four days of actually um, placing her order. I'm not sure if it was because she placed it through PayPal, but I can definitely say with her doing it that way, she did get her hair a lot faster than I did. So I will suggest that, um, you know, go ahead and process it through PayPal. I will be doing my next order like that. But again, like I said, there wasn't um, any issue with it. I still received my hair within a, you know, time frame that was acceptable to me. So I just wanted to go ahead and get all of those shipping details out of the way. And the next thing that we're going to be talking about are the cons there are some cons to this hair and the number one con is the thing that i harped on the most in my um, unboxing video which was the smell you guys the smell of this hair was absolutely horrible when i got it now i know you're probably thinking like a lot of people get on their videos and they're saying how, how horrible the smell is this i've been ordering hair for a long time and i have never ordered hair or received hair that has smelled as bad as this hair receipt was when I received it. This hair pretty much smelled like So I'm gonna include somewhere um, in this video just you pretty much watching how I um, washed the hair. So I did use the Tresemme shampoo and I did cleanse it twice with that shampoo. And then I went in with the Pantene conditioner and I let that hair sit for a couple of minutes and that was not enough for um, that hair. I did have to go ahead and go in and pretty much soak this hair overnight in the suave conditioner and I'm going to show you the one that I actually use. So if you get some hair from your Lissa and your hair smells like this, then you'll pretty much know what to do. So this is pretty cheap. You can get it for like, I think $2.97 at Walmart and I use the family size um, suave essentials ocean breeze conditioner and it's the one that's infused with sea algae extract and vitamin E and this is what the conditioner looks like. 
So this right here is what saved me, or should I say is what saved your list of hair company? Because if I was not able to get that bad smell out of the hair, there was no way that I was gonna walk around with hair smelling like that. So I pretty much would have had to reach back out to customer service and let them know that I was dissatisfied with the smell and that I was gonna be sending it back in exchange for maybe them sending me more hair or some type of, you know, a refund or something because the hair smell was absolutely unacceptable. So the good thing about it was that I was actually able to get the smell out of the hair. So I am definitely um, pleased with that. Now my mom did, um, her hair did come in. I did take a look at it and I also smelled it to see what it smelled like. And her hair did not smell that bad. It was just like the normal hair smell that you get from a hair company. So I'm not, you know, I'm not too sure what happened with my hair, but I was thankful that hers didn't smell like that. Now, the second con that I will say with this hair is definitely going to be for um, those who are new to kind of wearing weave. Um, when I washed the hair or when I washed the closure, the parting space completely disappeared. So if you, you know, watch my unboxing, I did order a middle part and when it was time for me to actually install it, the the part pretty much didn't exist anymore. So I did have to go back in and pluck the, the closure myself. And as well as it did come with like a few baby hairs and those were, com they completely disappeared as well. They kind of, you know, went into the hair. So I did have, like I said, I did have to go ahead and pretty much create my part over again, but that wasn't really too big of an issue, but I did have to list it as a con because if you aren't used to plucking or if you're not as good at plucking um, your, your closure, then that can become an issue for you. And then I also wanted to say that I did kind of go ahead and go back in and just kind of cut at a angle and I kind of created a few baby hairs just to kind of, um, you know, make it blend a little better. Now the last con that I have is that right in the neck area of this hair I did this happened twice and so I actually saved one of the pieces for you but I have no idea where it where it went so I get these little balls of hair and they're really t they're really small they're not extremely big there were there's like a small piece of hair that kind of balls up and then I kind of like go in and you know do as much detangling as I possibly can and then once I get the rest of the hair loose from it it pretty much falls off and it has like a few strands of hair that is attached to it now I can say that with this being longer hair it is you know you're gonna have some it doesn't mat up so that's the good thing the hair doesn't mat but I have noticed those two um, like I said that it has happened to me twice where I had a small ball with a few pieces of hair that came out with it I think personally it was the way that I was preserving my hair at night because I liked how it looked when I kind of I didn't soak my hair but I kind of wet it down and then I would um, kind of throw it up in my bonnet because I liked how it looked the next day when I took the bonnet off so I think part of it was really that that could have been something that I was doing and so I have kind of been preserving my hair a little bit different at night now and if I do get that whenever I do like you know like the final update of this hair I'll let you know if I continue to get those but those are really the only cons of the hair like I said it's not really that big of an issue because with longer hair you are going to have some type of tangling at the back but this isn't um, like it doesn't mat up so that's the good thing about it. Now going on to the pros, which is something that I would most rather talk about because I can go ahead and tell you right now that I am absolutely in love with this hair. I have been enjoying this hair for the two weeks that I have had it in. And so the first pro, which is one of the things that I talked about in my unboxing video is the fact that they give you a lot of hair for longer lengths. This was the first hair company that I have ever ordered longer lengths like this. And pretty much you couldn't tell any difference between the longest inch to the smallest. Now there was a difference between the 24 and the 28 obviously, but like I said, I had a 26 into 28 inches along with the 24 inch. And between the 26 and the 28, there was pretty much no difference. Um, the, the wefts were full. 
and I really, really liked that and I was very thankful for that because I didn't even have to install all of the hair that I ordered. I have quite a bit of my 24 inch left. Now, I don't really like big hair, so this is about as big as I like it. But uh, am, I did save some of the hair, so I am gonna go ahead and grab that so I can show you guys how much of the 24 inch I actually had left. This is the 24 inch bundle that I had. And as you can see, there is a lot of hair still left. And so this is what it looks like. Or this is what the, the hair pretty much looks like when I um, first installed it, like the, the wave or the curl pattern of it and the ends of the hair as well. I much have to keep folding it because there's no way for me to really show you this um on camera because i am sitting down i may do a clip and kind of show you or i may take a picture and insert it um right here of like how long the rest of this whiff actually is like i said they give you a lot of hair i was very pleased with that that was one of the main things that i was actually really grateful for so like i'll still have this hair left over and then while i'm thinking about it i also wanted to mention that i did say that i was on the fence about dyeing the hair i didn't dye the hair because as you can see this hair is pretty dark and i usually like to dye my hair all the way black but i am satisfied with this now i will say when i um you know step out into the light you kind of do see the lighter brown that's in it or the natural brown that's in it so i am going to go ahead and actually really dye it the next time but um you know so far just for you know the first time of me wearing it i'm pretty satisfied with how it looked and then i also mentioned that i was going to bleach the knots but i actually didn't do that because i was noticing um that me using my foundation which i'm going to show you all of the products that i use for maintenance so just stay tuned for that i did notice that me using the foundation that i use pretty much covered up the knots um pretty well so i didn't waste any money going buying any bleach or wasting my time doing it because you really don't need to so if you are somebody that you're wondering do you have to bleach the knots um i didn't and it looks just fine and i am going to show you a close-up of like my parting space and um what the actual closure looks like in later in the video so the second pro that i wanted to talk about is that this hair is very easy to manage and the upkeep is it's just phenomenal like you don't have to do a lot and i do wash this hair once a week i co-wash it so I just do that to get, you know, pretty much the product off that I've used throughout the week. And that's pretty much it. You really don't have to do too much to this hair, which I really like, which is why I am a fan of loose wave hair. And in this instance, loose deep wave hair. This is my first time actually trying the loose deep wave, but I like this hair because the maintenance is very simple. You don't have to do too much. So that's another good pro about this hair. Then I also wanted to mention that the ends on this hair is very, very, very well so that is the third pro that I'm going to talk about in today's video and I'm just going to show you what the ends pretty much look like and look at how beautiful these look I mean that is amazing so some hair the ends are very straggly they're very brittle they're horrible these ends are very well so that is another quick pro that i wanted to go ahead and show you guys about the hair and the last pro that i wanted to talk about was there is minimum shedding now i know i mentioned about the two things um the two little knots that i got earlier but like i said i still the jury is kind of out on that because i'm not sure if it was how i was doing my hair at night or if it's just a, a reoccurring thing that's going to continue to happen and i will update you guys on that like i said in the final review of this hair but overall whenever i am styling this hair i do not get very much shedding so yesterday i did go ahead and co-wash this hair and i wanted to show you guys literally the shedding that i got when i was in the shower this is literally the amount of shedding that i got yesterday and this was from just washing my hair in the shower as you can see you pretty much cannot beat that but i did say in my um initial unboxing that i was going to seal the webs so i'm going to include like a little video here of me actually 
doing that so you can see exactly how I did it is literally nothing to it you just take the um, product that I showed you in the initial unboxing and then you just run it along the web and that pretty much is going to cut down on a lot of the shedding that you would receive so even with the unboxing with me just running my hair through it I mean running my hands through it I didn't get a lot of shedding then but I just wanted to go ahead and take extra precaution and make sure that I wasn't going to have any issue because the hair was absolutely too beautiful and I did not like I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to have too many bad things to say about this hair so like I said I did go ahead and seal the webs and I don't get much shedding hardly at all with this hair and I haven't had any matting or anything like that as well so so far so good with that and now I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into how I keep this hair up and pretty much the maintenance of it okay so the first thing that I do when I um, with this hair is I pretty much go in with the icy moist miracle curls co-wash treatment and it looks like this and I got this from Walmart for like maybe three or four dollars I use this to pretty much just run it down you know run it down the hair get it clean again and this stuff is very moisturizing it's um one of my favorite things to use so again it's pretty much that's just the product that I use to co-wash and then for styling purposes I do go ahead and use it's the quenching coconut curls curling hair butter leave in or rinse out and it's by OGX so this is what this looks like and this this along with the next product that I'm about to show you which I need to just go ahead and show you now because I actually use both of them to style so I use this one first and then I go in with the Aussie Miracle Curls Frizz Taming Cream and I learned this from one of my favorite hair YouTubers TJ and she um, uses this all the time and so I went ahead and picked it up from the store and I can say now I understand why she includes this in so many of her curly hair routines and um, she rants and raves about it all of the time because this leaves the hair absolutely flawless and it moisturizes the hair so well. So like I said, I go ahead and I use this one first and then I follow it up with the um, frizz taming cream and both of these together is just pretty much like heaven. It feels like clouds. The hair is absolutely soft, is very moisturized and it looks really healthy so that's literally all I do for styling and then for my edges I just pretty much go in with the I think this is the blueberry yeah the blueberry style um fragrance of the style factor gel and I just use that for my edges and so after I'm after this step I'm pretty much done I'll take a scarf lay my edges down and that's it and then if you're wondering about the tools I always use a wide tooth comb but to show you how well this hair really is this wide tooth comb goes through my hair seamlessly it does not pull out any strands it goes right down through this hair I have never had hair that was able to do that usually it snags at some point you can literally take this comb and run it down the entire strand with no snags I have never had hair that has done that so even though I do not really use why I mean small tooth combs I um I think I was trying to get the hair to lay flat and I was pretty much blown away like I, that's just the bottom line I was completely blown away by that so um the last tool that I use is the you know just a regular paddle brush and that is how I actually get these curls at the bottom so after running the products through, I pretty much just go all the way down with this brush and I let it, um, I just brush it down and then however the, the curls fall, that's pretty much how I leave them. And that's literally how I get this. So I really like how these curls look at the bottom. So that is all I do for maintenance and the hair looks absolutely amazing and then very quickly i almost forgot to show you the powder foundation that i use to go ahead and blend the parting space which is by mary Kay, and it is in the shade bronzer and it's just the powder foundation that i use and i use a flat eyeshadow brush to just pretty much run it along the line of my part here so i'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close-up and then along with the style factor gel, gel that I showed you, I just pretty much take a toothbrush and kind of lay down the edges and that's pretty much it. 
And so I am going to include um, pretty much some clips of me um, standing up to show you where the hair kind of falls. I am 5'5", five five, so I'll go ahead and include some clips of that as well if you are curious to know how long the hair is on me. And so overall, even though there are just a few kinds of the hair, they're not anything that's big enough for me to not want to order from this company again i am absolutely in love with this hair i get so many compliments on it and um it's just really it, it really is a nice grade of hair if you are interested in trying the loose deep wave i am here to tell you to definitely go ahead and try it out and definitely go through your lissa i absolutely love the curl pattern it's very easy to maintain and you get a lot of hair for the amount of money that you pay for it so um that's pretty much going to include this two week update of this hair from Yolissa Hair Company and again if you haven't already definitely make sure that you go ahead and check out the initial unboxing of the hair that I did and I'll be linking the hair um details and everything down in the description box below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a comment also like and subscribe and I will see you beauties in the next video